If you've got yourself a Nothing phone, well rejoice, rejoice, because the Nothing OS 3.0 beta is here, which seems as good a reason as any to crack open a good few beers and maybe that bottle of Drambuie you've been saving. Now the full alpha update should be rolling out to all Nothing phones as well as that jazzy wallet friendly CMF phone before the year's end if the plan doesn't go all tits up. But if you're giddy with excitement, can't wait that long, well no worries, you can jump on the Nothing OS 3.0 beta to get an early squint. But what can you expect from Nothing OS 3.0? Well I've been having a good old look myself, see some of the best new features chucked in there and for more on the latest and greatest tech please do plug subscribe and do that notifications bell. Cheers! So first up, there have been some aesthetical, a aesthetical, aesthetical changes. It looks a bit different now. So for instance, Nothing has chucked in a fresh new fingerprint animation, which I rather like, just a series of dots that sort of expand out from that sensor. Very fancy. And there's also a new charging animation when you bung a cable in. Ooh, get you Mr. Posh Pants. Some pretty small and insignificant changes there, but the settings menu has visibly changed up. It's now got a more straightforward stock Android kind of vibe, but everything's broken up into neat and fairly logical sections as well, so it's not too difficult to find what you need. But of course they have got rid of the old dot matrix shenanigans instead and replaced it with the Roboto font, which is apparently easier to read. Gotta say though, I don't think I'm really a fan of the new design. I really like that dot matrix shenanigans, helped to set the nothing phone out a bit from rivals, whereas this just looks a bit more generic really. Just feels like a bit of a downgrade, like replacing a Banksy with a Peppa Pig poster or something. And you can change the font if you go into display and then scroll down to font and display size, but basically you've got two options here, Roboto or Inter, those are the two default installed ones. So yeah, personally not a fan, but what do you guys reckon? Definitely let us know what you think in the comments. There's also been some design changes for the old notifications panel as well. So you've now got a mixture of rounded and pill-shaped quick toggles. You can resize the majority of these, some of the main ones you can't. Anything with this wee symbol in the bottom right corner can be resized with a quick tap like so. And you can not only resize them, you can also shift them about the place as well to fill this grid. Even massive great chunky gaps if you fancy that. Oh, and the old screen record has changed up as well, so now you can just record a single app rather than the entire screen if you'd prefer. You can of course, as usual, choose to record the audio or not. And you just choose an app to either record or share. So let's say good old YouTube. Get the usual little countdown and then away you go, you are recording the action. And then see at any point during the recording you need to minimise that app to check a message or do whatever else, change your music. Don't worry because none of that will have been captured in the record. As you can see here, the section where I minimised the app and went off and did other stuff, none of that is captured, it just remained on the app until I returned to it. And in Nothing OS 3.0, that lock screen is also more customizable. You can tweak it by going to Settings, Customization, and then just swiping across like so. Or alternatively, just actually go onto the lock screen and then just long press on it. Hit Customize Lock Screen, and then just unlock and away you go. You'll now see you've got a variety of different clock styles including a bit of dot matrix action. Got the old quick locker action which is customizable as usual. You've got a neat little pixely effort. And of course just the not particularly aesthetically pleasing Roboto action. It's a bit Ming as the kids would say. Or at least the kids would say when I was a kid which is several decades ago. I guess these days it would probably just be sus. And also, personally, I'm not really a fan of chucking loads of widgets on the lock screen because I just like to skip past it as fast as possible. But if you are, you can expand that widget area now and hoi loads of stuff in there. All the usual nothing shenanigans. And as usual, of course, you can customise those shortcuts down at the bottom. Something that the iPhone can finally do in its current generation as well. Huzzah! And the old apps tree has changed up in Nothing OS 3.0 as well. Looks fairly standard in this form. You've got some smart suggestions up at the top based on what you've used in the past. But if you tap these three dots, you can change to the fresh new smart beta app drawer. If we go back, we'll see this changes up things quite significantly. You've now got a more iOS style setup, which personally I absolutely abhor. On my iPhone, I'm always tapping around for ages trying to find what I actually want. I'm a very simple man, just give me my apps in alphabetical order and I'm very happy indeed. So I'm sticking that straight back on the default one. Ah, bliss! And that widgets menu has also changed up a wee bit as well. So now you've got your nothing based shenanigans here on the left side. If you swipe to the right, 
then that's all the rest of your widgets. And apparently the date widget will allow you to count down to special days as well, birthdays and holidays and things like that, but I can't actually work out how to get that to work. I'm sorry, your Uncle Spurt's a bit of a dum-dum. But hey, if you know where I'm going wrong, feel free to call me a massive wang in the comments below and actually clear me in as to how to do that. Oh, and the old pop-up view has been tweaked and improved for Nothing OS 3.0 as well. So just head to the recent apps menu, tap an icon up top and then hit pop-up view and it'll pop up in a wee window like so. You can move this about the place. You can now resize it by dragging those bottom corners. And if you need to just get it out of sight for a second, you can just hold it away to the edge of the screen like so and then just tap that wee icon, pop right back up again. And last up, Nothing has also made some improvements to the camera app for Nothing OS 3.0. Oh, sorry, my phone's a bit mucky apparently. So it now supposedly launches faster than ever before. I can't say I've noticed a marked difference in it, but certainly pretty nippy. This is the Nothing Phone 2A that I'm currently testing on. You've also now got reduced HDR processing time, so I'd say it takes probably about sort of two seconds, maybe three, between taking the shot and it being ready for action. Nothing has also improved the portrait mode, so the blur intensity will actually change depending on how close or how far away your subject is. I can't say I personally notice a huge amount of difference in the intensity of the blurring, but certainly my portrait shots that I've snapped with Nothing OS 3.0's camera app have been on point. No blurring of my earlobes or anything like that. I'm nicely segregated from the background. And supposedly the low light performance has also improved and certainly my Nothing OS 3.0 nighttime shots are looking quite bright, not too grainy. I can use a bit more finer detail, but otherwise pretty good. And there you have it, my lovelies. That in a tasty wee nutshell is Nothing OS 3.0 in its beta form rolling out hopefully as i say before the end of 2024 so what do you reckon what do you like what do you not like be great to your thoughts down in the comments below please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech and have yourselves a ruddy wonderful rest of the week cheers everyone love you <laughs>